Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade your MacBook Pro slash iMac today. So let's get started. So in order to downgrade your MacBook Pro slash iMac is, first thing, make sure you're charging at all times because it takes a lot of power to install an update. Second thing, make sure you have a USB stick at least 64 gigs for us to work. And then third, make sure you back up your Mac so you don't lose the data. And I did downgrade from macOS Ventura to Big Sur just to prove to you guys this works. So I'm already on Big Sur because I already did it off camera. Okay, so now go to Safari. Then go to this webpage right here, which I'll link in the description below. When I scroll down, you can see the different versions I can select from. But you guys may be wondering which ones work and don't work. So what, what I've confirmed after testing this from April 2022 up to now is that only Mojave up to Ventura is available. High Sierra and earlier is not available yet. It's not available at all, I meant, because I tested it. And what I'm going to do is select Catalina for this demo. So it'll take me to the App Store, then click Get. Then since I've already downloaded it, it's going to give me an error message saying it cannot open, which is totally normal. I'll take, yeah, since see, since I've already downloaded this up, up downloaded it already, it's gonna give me an error message. That's totally normal. That's actually what the USB stick is for. It's so you can just open the installer from the recovery mode screen to install it. That's basically what the USB stick is needed for, which I'll show you guys how to do that next. So when I go and quit this out all the way, so next thing you need is something called disk utility. After I plug my USB stick in, Okay, so now I've plugged it in. Up here, you guys can see it right here, no name. So now I'm gonna open Disk Utility. So what we're gonna do is now is erase the USB stick and rename it, name, rename it to the system we're gonna install. So when I go to no name, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this, then rename this to Mac OS Catalina, just like that. Then make sure format is selected to Mac OS Extended Journaled. They click erase, and now it's going to erase the stick and rename it to Catalina. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and as you guys can see, the USB stick has now been renamed to macOS Catalina, just like that. All right, so next thing we're going to do is get a command from Terminal for Safari to first to work. Just go down to the bottom and click Using a Bootable Loader. That's what you'll need. Now, I have that link to the description as well. So you see, each terminal is diff command is different for each operating system right here. So the one I'm gonna use is Catalina. So I'm gonna go and copy all that, Command C. Now I'm gonna go and open up my terminal, then Command V. But here's the important part. Make sure you take out the thing where it says My Volume right there. So I'm sorry about that. See, the My Volume, you gotta replace that with the USB drive name. So let me just move it here so you guys can see that. So I'm gonna take out my volume and then drag this over and put it in, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is move the cursor and take out volumes again, cause we don't need the second thing of volumes here. So just like that. Oh yeah, let me just take out the slash, sorry about that. And just put another slash in, just like that. Now, I'm gonna hit Enter. Now I'm gonna enter my password, which I'm gonna do off camera. Okay guys, so I'm back and I just entered my password, so I'm gonna hit return. And now, here's the important part. See, when I zoom in, it says, to continue, we need to erase the volume, MacOS Catalina. If you wish to continue, type Y, then press return, which I wanna do, I'm gonna click Y, return. And now it's gonna be erasing the disk. So basically what it's gonna be doing now is is creating the file on the USB drive for us to sideload when we go in recovery mode. So this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna be coming back once this is done. So while doing this, you may get this pop-up right here where in where the terminal needs access to the files on a remove of a volume. We're gonna go ahead and allow that. Sorry, my, my camera is being stubborn. Okay, so now what it's gonna be doing is copying to disk. So the file we, the file we downloaded is now going to be put on the USB drive. This could take at least 20 to 30 minutes. So I'll come back once the copying is done. 
Okay guys, so I'm back and the computer has finished creating the file on the USB stick. And yeah, you guys can see now it says install media now available on the USB stick. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and power the computer down so I can show you guys what to do next. All right, so now what we're gonna do is hold the option key while powering on. See, I'm gonna hold the option key, not power it on. See, I'm holding the option key and it should go straight into recovery mode. Yep, there we go. And as you guys see, I'm now in recovery mode. So now it can give me some options. So now what we're gonna do is use the arrow keys right here to select install Catalina. So this next part is just to go to the, after this, it'll go straight to the recovery mode state. So we can install the software. So I'm going to hit go. And now it's going to do is process that. So it's going to give me a little progress bar at the bottom. And that's totally normal. I'll come back when it goes to this recovery. Okay guys, so the macOS recovery tool has now opened. So we're going to go to disk utility first. Go over to here. And then once it just Go into this system, select show all devices from the sidebar. For you guys, for everyone else who's never done this for the first time, the one you want to erase is called Apple SSD. But since I've already downgraded to Big Sur before the video, I'm going to select update. So this is the one I created right here called update before this video. So this is what I'm going to be erasing. So I'm going to be renaming this one to Mac OS. So basically, this is the one I made. So I'm going to be erasing this. So I'm going to go and click Erase. And just like that, it's now going to, now it's recreated another one called Mac OS right here. So once you guys do that, for you guys, once you finish erasing this one for you guys, because you haven't already done this for the first time, click Install Mac OS. And there we go. Catalina right there. Click Continue. Agree. And now you get to select your hard drive. So once you erase the main hard drive on the computer to make room for the new one, you will select this one. This is the one it created for Mac OS to make room for the new update. Click install. And now it's going to go ahead and install the update. So I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this because this can take a really long time. So let me go ahead and time lapse it now. guys so I'm back and as you guys can see my computer has successfully downgraded to Mac OS Catalina just like that so what I'm gonna do now is set the computer off camera then I'll come back to you guys when I finished okay guys so I'm back and I finished and I got my computer so when I go to Apple logo about there it is I'm running Mac OS Catalina 10.15.7 right there see 10.15.7 just like that so that is basically how you downgrade your Mac MacBook Pro or iMac to older version of the Mac macOS software, but I would not recommend doing this on your desktop, only your laptop. That's why I recommend it's safer that way. Because if you try to do this on your laptop, on your iMac event or desktop, and then the power goes out, the install will freeze and the computer will pretty much be bricked. That's why you should only do it on a computer with a battery on it, just to be safe. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up, this video. Peace out.